Do you think your son or daughter would ever just throw away all your boxes of family photos? I'm Linda Satgas with imaphotohero.com and in this episode, I'll tell you about a young man I recently met who did just that. Last month, I attended a conference where I sat across the table from a pleasant young man in his late 30s or early 40s. We eventually got around to the usual question, so what do you do? When it was my turn, I said, you know those boxes of photos, slides, and negatives you have? Or your parents have, I added, because of his age. Most people nod and roll their eyes and say, oh yeah. But instead, he looked upward for a moment as though visualizing something and then said, yeah. So I said, well, I help people turn those boxes into shareable family stories that the entire family can enjoy and pass down from generation to generation. That's when he told me he had thrown away all his mother's boxes of photos. I have to admit, I had to really work at not showing my shock. But then he went on to explain the circumstances. He had one weekend to move his mother from a home she had lived in for many years to a small apartment in a retirement center closer to him, and he lived a couple states away. So he told her, you can't take all your stuff with you. You can only take this amount of stuff. And he actually did this with his hands to show how much stuff she could take. So he actually threw her boxes of photos away. But to his credit, he did take pictures of the photos before getting rid of them. I'm assuming he took pictures with his cell phone, so that's the scenario. You have a mom who has lived in a house for many years and collected a lot of stuff and also her boxes of family photos. And you have a son who's doing the best he can to get his mom transferred to a new place where he can take care of her better. And he has one weekend to do it. So is anyone at fault in this situation? Do we say, well, these kids nowadays just don't care about family photos? Or do we say, well, his mom had all those years to deal with the boxes of family photos and she didn't do it. You wanna know my take on it? Glad you asked. Here's what I think. The son is not at a time of life when the family photos are on his radar. Most people his age are very focused on their own family, their work, their activities with friends, and that's normal. You and I were probably focused on the same things when we were that age. I know I was. As much as I love family history, at that age I was more focused on my own family history, taking pictures of our kids and keeping a journal about them. For me, it wasn't until my parents' generation began to age or get dementia or pass away that I realized how important it was to get the family stories about them before they were gone. And to be honest, I missed out on many of the stories because I waited too long. So the young man I met wasn't entirely at fault. What about the mom? Was she at fault? She had all those years to deal with her boxes of photos, but she didn't do it. But again, I say, no, she wasn't entirely at fault. When you inherit all the boxes of photos from both sides of the family, it can feel overwhelming. You may not know what to do with them or even where to start. So you just hang on to the boxes like your parents and grandparents did and you keep putting it off. But here's the problem, time is running out. Once family members who can identify the people and tell the stories are gone, a lot of that information is lost forever, and the photos are in danger of being thrown out because no one knows anything about them. And that means our children and grandchildren will never know their full heritage, who they are and where they came from, and that would be sad. I've shared this cautionary tale not to point a finger at anyone, but to make us all aware of the consequences of doing nothing. I know from talking to millennials that they want their parents to deal with the boxes of photos, and rightly so. We know more about family history than they do, and many of us have more time to work on it. That's why I've made it my mission to reach people like myself who spent most of their life in the last century. We can save the photos and stories by turning them into something you can actually share with your family, a book or slideshow or PDF. 
If you need help doing that, check out the link below because I've just opened my class, Photo Rescue Blueprint, that teaches how to turn a shoebox of photos into a shareable family story in 30 days or less. If you're interested in this topic, I also invite you to click subscribe below this video and click the bell next to it to be notified when my next video comes out. Together, we can be photo heroes and save the photos and stories of the 20th century.